AIM sets the importance of this uh, modern uh, digital era as a uh, means to protect your uh, CDs. And um, one of the um, things that most people don't are not aware of are that CDs are very frail, number one, and that the acidic gases that are in the uh, atmosphere can actually attack and do damage to the surface of the CD. And a quick example of that is if you take your uh, sterling teapot and you leave it on the table for a month, it's going to oxidize and it's going to tarnish, all right? Well, that's the acidic gases that are in the atmosphere. If you leave that out there for a month or two, you could get and, uh, and, and these acidic gases are also attracted to the metallic surface of the CD. And the same things can happen to your CD that can happen to your surface of the CD bar. And if you do get a pit on a, on a CD that has photography and wood processing on it, you've lost all that data, it's not recoverable. And so understanding the technology uh, 45, 50 years ago, at the beginning of the space ages, they were concerned about the acidic gases laying in circuitry and wiring in space. Fast forward, they, at that point, they determined that the molecular structure of copper actually is a stra stronger, has a stronger attraction for these acidic gases as opposed to the metallic surfaces that otherwise would be drawn to. And so you fast forward 40 years, and this technology is now available in different types of substrates. This happens to be polyethylene which is an inert archival safe material. We built in the copper matrix uh, into this. And so by putting your CDs into the uh, sleeve with the data side up against the, uh, the copper, it's actually gonna protect any gases that are in there are gonna be drawn into the copper and will not reside on the surface of the CD. The benefit of this is that it's gonna extend the life term of the CD. And, uh, uh, typically, CDs will start to degrade in two to five years. The research on this indicates that this will extend the life of that CD uh, 2040, and I've read as far as 80 years in the future. And we're not interested in 80 years because technology will change by then, but we are concerned about the next 20 years. And you need your data to be safe so that when the next technology comes around, you can you know, upload it to that. Or in the meantime, if you need to retrieve it two, five, ten years down the road, all intact and you've not lost it. So that's the story of corrosion in a cell. Excellent. Thank you. You're welcome. Tell us about the framing. Using the uh, same technology uh, and with the same properties, we've taken the same material, put a pH uh, uh, neutral adhesive to the back of it, uh, and we use this in, in our uh, frame industry. And one of the values of this is that you're able to use this in the rabbit of a, of a frame so you can, you can put a barrier between the wood and the object that you're framing. And uh, the nice thing about this material it is it's very strong, it's not going to puncture it, so that as you're trying to seed in the material in the rabbit, if you puncture it, you've defeated the purpose. Uh, but this is pretty much puncture proof so that uh, it's very easy to work with, it's strong, and it'll do the job first time. So this will preserve your photos yeah, well, in what, your picture frame? Right? That's correct, okay. yeah. And so there's no migration uh, from the wood into the uh, object being framed. The other side benefit from this material in copper, which is copper matrix, is that it compels uh, mold and milk. So from, from uh, again, long-term storage of photographs, even in the frames, other artwork uh, to serve some of the multitude.